Right. <clears throat> Hello and welcome. So t in this video I'm going to talk about the Sun SDR Pro 2 SDR transceiver and also the software that, that links up with the hardware which is the Expert Electronics Expert SDR 3. I've, I've been meaning to do this video for a few months but because it's been spring and summer in the UK if of the spare time I, ha I have had I've gone outdoors and tried to do outdoorsy things however the weather today is so hot that going out and camping overnight and cooking out in the Peak District is a little bit mental so I'm not doing that so I thought do you know what I'll do the video that I've always said I'd do ever since I did the Russian Ukraine coverage a few months ago I had loads of people asking about this setup so this is the video it's a bit late we've got there eventually uh, so I purchased the Sun SDR Pro 2 I'd say about 12 months ago maybe a bit longer at first I found it really difficult to set up because I use a Mac uh, a lot of the instructions are were well, not easy to find they're a little bit sporadic but you, when you get to know where all the different manuals are and the instructions you can start to piece it all together then so I watched the video from Gaz <clears throat> and then I could work out how to do that on the Mac so basically I had to uh, proxy the IP address I won't go into those sort of details the, the, I can provide a little bit of guidance in the comments uh, maybe just pointing people to the right direction more than step-by-step -step instructions but got the um, got it was working with the Mac there was a few issues with the upgrading of from uh, I think it was Big Sur I was on it's the Mac upgraded and then I had problems with the software so I'm currently using expert SDR 3 which is an alpha phase however I've got no fallback that is it because the expert SDR 2 won't work on this computer for me anyway so I'm using an alpha version of the software and I'll go through the software in a bit more detail but the hardware is I, I, I'm, I'm, <clears throat> I really enjoy different form factors and designs that's what really attracts me with a lot of amateur radio hardware and the software that accompanies a lot of, a lot of the equipment I really enjoy well designed and well I enjoy good concepts uh, within ham radio so for me the the trans the SDR transceiver with the, the black fin on the back on top of it very simple no dials but plenty of connections at the back for a whole range of experimentation which I've only just started to step into so the actual hardware itself is very interactive in its minimal sense and it actually fits really nice in a a smaller ham radio room like what I've got here so for me rather than having the big box in front of me it allows me to put that out the way I you know, put the transceiver bit out the way and then it leaves me with the software then I have hooked mine into a Zago um, HF amplifier and that gives me about 80 watts uh, I've also got another amplifier that's currently at Keele University in my, in my office space that I can get probably get about 100, 100 watts out of that it's a little bit more but not not so not massive <clears throat> now with me I, I can't really run 400 watts from here anyway because we live in close proximity to lots of houses and at my setup outside there's a chance of interfering and I'm really am too close to people for a um, big big power or larger power so the, the, I've got the radio working with the this linear amplifier and it allows me to make lots of contacts and have lots of fun making lots of contacts on that quite simplified setup uh, outside I've got an SG, SGC tuner at the base of a piece of wire that I cut for a quarter wave on uh, 40 meters so that gives me everything from 80 up to 6 one or two of the bands are pretty decent 40 and 15 obviously are pretty decent 10 yeah is, is semi okay um, 20 I can I can get lost contacts on 20 it's not ideal 
Uh, but the other bands do struggle a little bit. But it gives me a little bit of a scope for um, hitting some of their low hanging fruit on, on, the, on a wide number of frequencies. So that's the current setup. Uh, in between I've got lots of chokes and common mode chokes and all sorts. So I have managed to solve one of the biggest problems I had a while ago in here. I was, I was, RF was just circulating and getting into my audio equipment uh, with the chokes and also you know a few bits I've done here. I pretty much eliminated that. Um, I'm only running 100 watts uh, at, at, at most but it's enough to get into your equipment even at that, that, that sort of level. So onto the software side of it, it's pretty easy to set up um, if you follow, follow Gaz's video that's pretty good on understanding how the IP address works and some of the changes you may need to make depending on whether you want to run the hardware directly into the computer. At the moment mine's wired directly, the Ethernet cable is plugged directly into the back of the iMac that just allows me into the iMac itself just to um, set up like a proxy IP to talk directly to the um, transceiver. Now if I wanted to run that on the network I'd have to rewrite the IP address with inside the radio so that when it when I connect that to my network it has the same IP configuration that 192.168 I think mine's might be zero whereas this is a 16 I think um, so what was mine one anyway so you have to do a little bit of that malarkey if you want to actually get onto your network and I do that sometimes I've got a Ethernet port uh, here an Ethernet connector I connect on my Ethernet to that and that runs out through the wiring in the house to the Ethernet box by the router so I can actually run it into my home network and pick up the radio up on a number of computers in different rooms so I'm not stuck with running it on here so the software, uh, this is alpha stage, but for an alpha stage software, actually it is quite stable. Um, there's a few elements that don't seem to do very much. There might be that the button's there, but the actions aren't. Um, so it's relatively, uh, I think the design of it is lovely. Uh, like I say, I'm, I'm really interested in uh, the design elements of technology and the, the display. And for me, I, I really like the way that the, the, the design of this um, for me I really like the way that this software is designed. I've got a lovely waterfall, I can really pick out the signals on the spectrum above. Um, you can you can alter uh, a lot of this in the settings if you wanted to. I made a couple of tweaks but nothing major, uh, nothing major there. Uh, so band switching is, is relatively simple and then uh, switching modes it's normally, it's normally uh, automatically switch to that mode for that band but you can override it and do AM on 40 and whatnot. You can actually also alter the bandwidth and uh, listen on um, things like FT8 and all that so you can actually from a listening point of view you can pick up uh, a lot of digital stuff quite cleanly as well. Uh, for me I quite like the, the, <clears throat> the choices on the filtering and the noise reduction um, so you've got the blanker, uh, I like this binaural, binaural sound, it really separates and, and gives the audio much chance to separate from the from the noise as well. So the signal, because it's actually, I don't know, do something with the phase of it, it does separate and gives you a little bit more clarity on the spoken word, so I quite like the, the binaural effect. And the, the noise reduction is rather limited, uh, I, I haven't found a way of adjusting that. When it comes on, it really it takes out a lot of the signal as well. So I'm, I'm not a big fan of that. Um, automatic noise cancellation. Then you've also got uh, notch filters, um, <clears throat> notch and peak filters on there, um, and then you've got this uh, more notch filters that you can uh, really, really sort of um, uh, tune that right down as well. And we've also got we've also got the ability to you know, really change the the peak the Q of the um, the filter. It's the the software on the Mac connects to JTDX and JS8. 
Yeah, thank you very much. Nice to meet you. You are 5 by 9 plus 10 dB. Have a great day, 7-3. Okay, okay. So that's just a quick overview of the setup here at the moment. I've actually got on this computer, I'll do a video on this next, but on here I've got, so on this uh, computer I'm running Dragon OS with a whole bunch of radio tools. Um, so I'll, I'll go over this setup in another video. So I, I hope you enjoyed the video and um, please leave any comments in below, any questions you got, add them below. Don't forget to like and subscribe if it was a decent video. And I look forward to the next one, maybe outdoors. Bye-bye for now.